Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for the Elegance Elite Oval Baby Bassinet with Bedding. Before you get started, make sure you look at all the pieces included. If you're missing anything or have any damaged parts, please contact Badger Basket as shown in the end of the instructional video. So let's get started. Also, before getting started, make sure to check the bassinet body after removing it from the packaging. You'll see some screws here on the bottom, and you'll also see some screws here on the top. Inspect these and check these to make sure that they're tightly put into place, but also make sure not to over tighten them. For step one, you will need part A, the bassinet body, you will need four of the part K, the L brackets, and you also need eight of the I short bolts. So for this step, what we're going to be doing is placing the L brackets on the bottom of the bassinet body using these short bolts. So what we want to do when we place the L brackets on the bottom is you want to find these holes uh, along the four corners essentially. Now these holes need to line up with the holes in the L bracket itself. When we place the L bracket on the bassinet, you want to make sure that you have it flat towards the inside and the outer edge is where it's going to be going up. So we're going to be placing these two like this and then doing the same on the other side where the flat piece is going towards the inside of the body of the bassinet and the outer piece is where it's going up. So they're going to be placed like this and we're going to be putting two bolts into each of these L brackets. For this demonstration I am going to be using a drill just to make it go a little faster. Feel free to use a drill as well. If you do, make sure you have the torque setting set on low so you don't strip any of the pieces. Otherwise, feel free to use a hand Phillips screwdriver. So I'm going to get all four of these L brackets put into place and get that started. For step two, you need two of part B, which are the end panels, two of part C, which are the rails, part D, which is the shelf, and you need four of the J long bolts. For this step, what we're going to be doing is assembling the bottom or the legs of the bassinet. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take a look at these end panels. When you look at the end panels, this bar that goes across here, this is the bottom or to the lower side of the legs. When you see the bottom here, you should see the two holes on each side. One goes all the way through and one does not. This is where these side rails are going to go into. The hole that does not go all the way through is going to be meant for this wooden peg that you see on the side rail. The hole that goes all the way through, which should be the one on the top here, is meant for the long bolt to go through into this side rail. So when we assemble these, that way the peg and the bolt will hold these side rails into place. Now when we put these side rails on, you'll see that these side rails have a groove. It's important that you have this groove facing towards the inside or facing towards each other. So in this case, we're going to be putting this one here. And then the other side rail is going to be on the opposite side with the groove facing towards the middle. So let's get this one first put into place. We're going to be putting the bolt through the back and into the side rails on both sides. Next what we're going to be doing is placing the shelf into the grooves to create the shelf for the bassinet. What you want to do is put the finished side facing upward, the unfinished side facing downward. You're going to slide it into these grooves here on both sides until it goes all the way to the end as far as it can go. Once you have it in all the way, then what we're going to be doing is putting the other end panel and put them into the side rails here. So again, that lower hole is meant for the peg. The upper hole is where we're going to be putting the bolt going through on both sides, essentially repeating that first part like so. And let's get both of these bolts put into place. For 
for step three, you need the bassinet body, the base, you need four of part G, which are the wheels, four of part H, which are the wheel bolts and the knobs, and you need eight of the I short bolts. So next what we're going to be doing is attaching the base to the bassinet body. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this base, we're going to be flipping it so the finished side of the shelf is facing towards the bassinet body. So when you flip this, what you're going to want is the, the legs here of the bassinet to be on the outside of these L brackets. So you're going to want to make sure you lift it over and have it to the outside of the brackets on both sides. You're going to align up these holes on the legs here to the L brackets and you're going to screw the short bolts coming from the inside of the bassinet body going to the outside. So we're going to put two in each of these L brackets to hold these legs into place. So let's get all eight of these screws or these bolts put into place. Next we're going to be putting the wheels onto the base. When you look at the wheels, you're going to see on the metal brackets that there's a hole on each side. One hole is going to be square, the other side is a circle. The square needs to go towards the inside or to the middle of the bassinet. When you put in the bolt, it's going to be going through that square side, where then you're going to be putting a wing nut on the other side to hold the bolt into place. Now they will come connected, so you'll need to unscrew them so that they disconnect. We're going to be putting on the wheel, again that square going towards the inside. We're going to slide that over this post where we're going to be putting in this bolt. So you'll notice on the bolt that the, it, is, has, um, it has a square end on it. This is how it's going to sit into that hole on the wheel. So you're going to put this bolt through as far as it can go making sure you get that square piece of the bolt through the square piece of this metal bracket. Then you can take the wing nut and you can tighten it completely to hold this wheel into place. I'm going to re repeat the same thing on the last three posts. Step four serves as a checkpoint. This is the time that you need to go through and check all the bolts that you've put in thus far to make sure that they're all securely held into place and they're tightened as far as they can be. Also, make sure you go through all the warning labels included. These are important as they ensure the safety of your infant. So let's move on to the next step. For step five, you need part E, the curved canopy pole, and you need part F, the canopy frame. So for this step, we're going to start the assembly of the canopy. First, what we're going to be doing is taking the canopy frame and we're going to be inserting this into the canopy post. Now the canopy post you will see has a slight bend and then a pin at the bottom. You want to have the canopy frame facing the opposite direction than this pin. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of squeeze these two bars together and we're going to push it down into the canopy post as far as it can go. Next what we're going to be doing is inserting this canopy post into the metal bar that you'll see around the bassinet frame. Now this metal bar here, you'll see a side that has two holes. You want this to be facing towards the outside of the bassinet. So when you insert this down, this metal pin needs to go out one of these holes. It is adjustable to height so you can have it on the top hole to make the canopy taller or the bottom hole to make it shorter. Just make sure that whichever height you choose, you have the metal pin popping through the back through one of these holes so you know that this is securely held into place. So we're just going to put this up here, put it into the top here. You will have to push in the metal pin to get it to go down. 
Then you need to keep pushing it down until it comes through one of the holes. I'm going to turn this around so you can see. So you know that the canopy post is held into place when you see the metal pin popping through here. For step six, you need part M, the fabric bumper. So next we're going to be putting the fabric bumper on the inside of the bassinet. First, what you'll do is you're going to find the two fabric loops with ribbons that are side by side. This is what's going to go around these two wooden posts around the canopy post. So what you're going to want to do is put the whole fabric bumper inside the bassinet and take these two fabric loops and we're going to loop them around each of these posts here. So we'll detach the hook and loop tape. We're going to put it up as high as it can and as securely and tight as we can to hold that fabric into place. We'll do the same on the other side. And then lastly, you can tie the decorative bow. Once you have these done, you're just going to be going around the bassinet to find all the fabric loops as you go, making sure you have them securely held to each of the wooden posts that they're aligning to, having them up towards the top and as secure as you can. So let's go around the whole bassinet frame and get all of these securely put into place. For step seven, you need part N, the mattress pad, and part O, the fitted fabric sheet. So next what we're gonna be doing is putting the fitted sheet onto the mattress pad. Now the fitted sheet is just going to wrap around the long way going around this mattress pad, making sure you have it as far around as it can go. Then next what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you put the edges of the fitted sheet facing downward. And then make sure that this mattress pad is pushed all the way down and try to keep that bumper up as high as it can go around the whole edge. And that it's snugly and firmly put down into place. For step eight, you need part L, the fabric skirt. So next what we're going to be doing is putting the fabric skirt going around the base of the bassinet. When you look at the fabric skirt, you're going to see the one area here where it overlaps and is connected, completing the circle. We're going to detach the hook and loop tape. Now the side that has the hook and loop tape on both sides is the piece that you're going to want to start with as you're going around the bassinet. So you should see it on this side here and on this side here. What we're going to do is we're going to start on the back near this canopy post and we're going to take the softer side of the hook and loop tape that's continuous and connect it here going all the way around. So we're going to start here and we're just going to spin and work our whole way around. Eventually we will end up back here where it should overlap and then hold it and complete the circle around the whole bassinet base. For step nine, you need part P, the fabric canopy. Next, we're gonna be putting the canopy onto the canopy frame. When looking at the canopy, you're gonna see it's open to one side. This we're gonna want to have in the front of the bassinet. On the inside or the underside of the top of this canopy, you will find 
two of these grip tabs where there's hook and loop tape that need to go around two spots on the canopy frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to drape the canopy over the canopy frame and then we're going to pull up on the corner here to find that grip tab which should be in the corner here. We're going to open it up, wrap it around the canopy frame and reattach it on both sides. Then you can just drape the canopy around the outside of the bassinet, like so. Step 10 serves as the last and final checkpoint to check all the hardware up at this point to make sure everything is fully tightened and securely held into place. Carefully review the safety information on pages two and three regarding the information on the bassinet to make sure your infant is safe. And that concludes the assembly for the Elegance Elite Oval Baby Bassinet with bedding. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, to please contact Badger Basket as shown in the next clip. Badger Basket thanks you for watching and enjoy.